Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be playing The Hunter Call to... Not Call to the Wild, Call of the Wild. We're, this is our very first time playing it. I haven't really touched this game, never played it before. So, let's just go ahead and do it. Oh, a cat just got let into my room. So, we're going to figure out our character. I like that one. Um, what's this? The reserve. So we have Leighton Lake District Medvedtega. I'm gonna say the this one. Kia ora. No mai hare mai ki Welcome to New Zealand and to Te Awaroa National Park. Well, thank you. This little slice of paradise is teeming with creatures big and small and more adventures than you'll find on any movie screen or storybook. Now I've lived out here in the Wop Wops all my life and never wanted for anything else. In fact, it's practically in my blood. This place and my family go way back. Things have been a little tricky lately, though. It's fast becoming somewhere I don't recognise anymore and I don't like it. That's why I dragged you out here, Hoa. With your help, we're going to wean ourselves off outside money and make the Awaroa model for sustainability the entire South Island can get behind. This is magical. <laughs> I really feel like I'm in like a storybook or something. I feel like there should be like fairies and unicorns. Like, dang. That was very inspirational. <laughs> What's gonna happen now? I'm kind of scared. So we got a phone. Oh, oh. Right, let's get moving. Glad to see you've arrived in one piece. Well, thank you. Josh is my nephew. He just got his license. And I swear that kid spends more time with his hands on the radio dials than on the steering wheel. <laughs> I hope he didn't talk your ear off. Probably did. I've had to rely on him a lot lately since my legs started acting up again. I was planning to head out and meet you today. But here I am at home, propped up on five kinds of pillows. Ah, doctor's orders. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat from me. Get over to the outpost marked on your hunter, mate, and let's get you started. Okay. We'll do that. How do I... Oh, my hunter. Okay. We're gonna cut across the land, you know? Do I have to have my phone out? Can I... I hope you had a oh. chance to spend some quality time on your own before I rang you up. Your mate, Alejandra, said the two of you were here on holiday? Are we? She had nothing but praise for you, by the way. Said you almost single-handedly turned things around for her in Cuatro Colinas. Well, naturally, I have pretty high expectations, but let's take our time getting to know each other first. I'll admit that it wasn't just her recounting your heroic antics that made me pick up the phone. She said you were, and I quote, stoic, practical, and probably born out in the bush somewhere. Just what I was looking for, in other words. Is she done? I guess she is. I said, do I have to hold my phone? Can I put it away? Ah, okay. What? What is this? Oh, it's a deer thing. What is this thing? What the hell is that? It's a squeaky toy. Oh, I see the bunny. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. Why the hell did I get a hunting game? I am not a hunting type of person. So yeah, I have actually never been hunting in real life. And I probably would never ever in my whole lifetime go hunt in real life. I just wouldn't be able to do it. I just can't. <laughs> I would rather starve. Even if in a survival situation... <laughs> I'd rather starve and die than hunt an animal. So yeah, I thought I would just try it out in a game because no real animals are harmed to then. Not far now. We built these outposts in the early 90s. They got the works, repurposed materials, solar roofs, rainwater tanks. That was back when people used to just call you a hippie. Now everything's sustainable, clean, green, eco-friendly. Hippies. <laughs> Try trailblazers. And good for the environment doesn't have to mean bad for your back. It's pretty cosy inside. Go on, take a look. Yeah, I will. 
Is this my home? Do I get to keep it? <gasps> okay, I claim this as my home now. I don't care what they say. What the frick is that? What the frick is that? <laughs> See, we got company. That'll be Josh is doing the Brett. I told him to <laughs> leave things be, but I guess he couldn't resist. Anyway, maybe it's just as well you get used to it. I'll fill you in later. Right, mate? See that camera on the table? Strap it to your chest and let me explain what exactly you're here for. There's a lookout tower not far away, so you can head up there and get a sense of the place while I flap my gums. Okay. Nice and tight now. We don't want it coming off right when you've got a shot lined up. All right. I guess we're going. We're going to leave good old Frank right here. And we're going to go. We'll shut our doors. We don't want no animals going in our house. So I guess we're going over here and we're going to go shoot something. I'm probably going to miss because I'm a terrible shot. Listen to those birds. It's so chill and relaxing. Let's just have a moment of silence to listen to the birds. Oh my god, that is so relaxing. I could literally sit there for days. That is really relaxing. Like, imagine being in this in real life. So, the plan. I want to turn this place into a year-round retreat for hunters like you and Aleandra. So I don't spend most of the year worrying about whether our native plants are going to get overrun by deer again. There's a lot of filmmaking talent out here. And it hasn't been put to good use lately, if you ask me. So we're going to make a commercial? Show the world there's more to New Zealand than haka and halflings. And who better to demonstrate the thrill of the chase than an experienced hunter like yourself? The Elwood Oars Prime was back in the 80s. Most of the other hunters out here are equally long of tooth. We need someone young, new, dynamic. You. The camera will do most of the work, so you just have to make sure it's on when you head out to hunt. We have a couple of uh, strategic locations on our list to get through. But let's get you that view first. Cool, so we're making a commercial. I just claimed this. I don't know what this is. This, I guess it's another little cabin area but i claimed it so that's fun there's the lookout tower just up ahead yes i see i guess we're gonna enter let's go just take that in spectacular isn't it this eastern area is all rolling hills and conifers there's a line of mountains in the center of the reserve <gasps> whoa and native beach forest and a lot of rain on the other side you're not going to be out running anything out here, so don't try. Nothing like the mad dash to find your harvest once you have taken it slow and steady, though. Right, so remember Josh's little prank? Now, this place doesn't receive a lot of government funding, unfortunately, and a couple of years ago we were running out of money for field research and the outposts were in need of sprucing up. So I guess you could say we made a deal with the devil, the Hollywood devil to be exact. My mentor used to tell me that if you don't look like a bit of a wally when you're stalking your prey, you're probably doing it wrong. So pull up those sleeves and get to know the dirt. Long story short, they've just wrapped up filming for the final movie they were contracted to do. Some fantasy thing, shiny blade or shimmering dagger or something. Now let me check. Ah, resplendent sword. I'll send you the blurb they gave me. My nephew tells me it's a big deal, but I'd certainly never heard of it before this. But yeah, as nice as it is that Tiawaro's beauty is up on the silver screen for all to see. What's that? It's come with its share of problems, to say the least. The bigwigs left in a hurry, and we got left with a bunch of basically intact movie sets scattered here and there all over the reserve. Well, I'm telling you all of this because Josh just rang me up and said that he spotted another set on his way back. Oh, okay. Not far from where I wanted you to try filming your first hunt. Can I trouble you to go clear it out? We can't run the risk of any of the props from the film featuring in our footage. Cheers. That is so far away. She said it's not far. That is ages away. That's a jump, okay. But geez, that is that's too far away. Well, for me it is. <laughs> My hearing your heart was at the murmurings of the forest. 
You've got all the time in the world out here, you know. Slow down. Become one with the Wop Pops. <laughs> Ask them. What's that note? Props list. Foam statue of haughty elf standing proud. Nine foam warriors. Eight golden goblets. Three green screens. This reads like a Christmas carol. See any of those? Bit dodgy. Townies must have been up here. Well, even though this isn't our mess to clean up, I should probably ask around and see if anyone knows what's happened to the missing props. The last thing we need is to get blamed for this. Tricky little fella, eh? If at first you don't succeed and <gasps> all that, I see it. you'll get the next one. Oh my god, there's so many. Maybe they did a very selective sweep. I'll see if anyone has a big wig's numbers. Thanks for your help, Evo. Let's move on. Oh, frick, I You're missed. You're making more of a racket out there than a cackling tilly. Oh, it stopped. I question your ways, but I prefer the silent approach. Before you head off and film your hunts, first we've got to set the scene, so to speak. The marketing team's looking for some photos for the reserve website. Something to give people a taste of what this place has to offer. Now that we've dealt with that bloody mess, you think you could head over to Lake Wakaiti and snap a few shots for us? Yes. There's a willow tree there growing right out of the water that all the influencers or whatever they call themselves go bonkers for. It does make for a good photo op. I'll give it that. Oh, I got an achievement that said I hit one of them. So I did get a shot on one of them. They're probably dead. I should have tracked them, but we didn't. Oh, I hear a piggy. Okay, we're going to go try get the piggy. We heard it. Where is it? Do you guys see piggies anywhere? But I don't need oh. to tell an experienced hunter like you that planning ahead is most of what a successful hunters. So take this as more of a gentle reminder. Oh my god, hurry up Keep and reload! Oh my god, I need to chase the piggy. We need to chase the piggy. Did I even get a shot on it? Did I get a shot? I hope I did. Oh, I did this blood. Oh, I killed it. I did. I got the pig. Oh my god. We shot it in the foot. Is that what it means? Ah, oh, no, look at that. It says flesh and right hand. I don't know what that said. And then flesh skull. So we did get it. Oh, thank god. That took me too long. I guess we could head over this direction now, and if we see another thing, we'll try and get it. Okay, I failed. I shot the ground instead of a pig, so we're not gonna kill that pig. Because it's gonna be long gone. So yeah, I realized I've been filming for a very long time. And I don't want this video to be too long, and I realized we've only killed one animal, so... That is very bad, but I'm new to this game, so I promise I will practice and I'll be better next time I film this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Make sure you go down the description below and check out all the links to my social medias. And a link to Belfast Storm merch. And I guess I'll see you in the next one, guys. Sorry this video might have been a bit of a bust, but yeah, we tried. So yeah, goodbye. I hope you have a great day.